Hi Taurus, welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. This is going to be a weekly reading for you, general but focused energy. Uh, this is Blue Hill Tarot. I hope you'll support my channel by liking, subscribing. Comments are always welcome. So let's throw some energy. Today it is June the 2nd, 2024. We have the energy of the waning moon in Aries for today. Taurus, I will be using to start this off uh, the energy of the uh, Everyday Witch Tarot. And we're going to check the energy around Taurus. Taurus, general but focused energy for Taurus. First message is uh, the energy of the Knight of Wands. Second, we have some emotional baggage, ebb and flow. And this is a good energy around your path ahead for the work week. So um, we have a couple of different circumstances here. If you are a Taurus and you have someone in your life, that's a fire sign. Uh, but it could be also earth, air, water, or, um, um, or fire. But there's absolutely some Taurus that have some baggage or they're... They've had a little bit of um, tense energy around a relationship, and they're thinking about it today. As far as uh, work goes, um, if you are uh, looking for information around, you know, progress and mapping out your work week next week, it looks like you're going to get some good clues and cues around what needs to be done for your work week. Yeah, and it's moving. It's pro progressing. So I will move on to talk about professional things. You will get some good guidance. You have the ginger cat here and the salamander. There's definitely good energy around um, positive uh, movement around professional circumstances. So if you have some relationship baggage, Taurus, especially around somebody that's a fire sign that may be, you know, literally being a dragon, breathing fire, uh, you know, passionately speaking to you about things and it's bringing you up and down, up and down. Focus on your work if you can. Uh, this is the energy of flailing, uh, things you need to take care of that you really haven't. Um, halfway finished things can be around work, can be around your relationship here with the fire sign. Your fate and karma for the week is very strong. You're showing up. This is your karma card for the week, and it shows you sitting on the throne as the king. Male or female, this is your energy, strong. So it can also be you and another earth sign. If you have a passionate relationship with an earth sign and you guys are going back and forth about some particular circumstance. So we have earth and fire around relationships showing up uh, with Taurus. So if you have another Taurus or a Virgo or a Capricorn, uh, if you have a, an Aries, a Leo, a Sagittarius, and there's things that need to be done there's uh, circumstances that need to be dealt with and you're just ignoring them, they're here. The energy of water is now showing up. So some of you may have a water energy also crossing your path or around your life, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And uh, here is fire. Fire is here and fire will be directly connected with baggage. So if you're a Taurus and you have a fire relationship, there's some, uh, you know, there's some definite baggage around that relationship. And baggage is something we all have in relationships, things that happen, the ebb and flow. And it may be something that you are just thinking more about next week or right now. And then we have water again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and the energy of retreat. You may be retreating around uh, somebody that's here. On the bottom of the deck, we have uh, definitely got some tension, uh, too many cooks in the kitchen kind of an energy. People who have to get the last word in, people who may literally be hurtful. Um, it could be you too, Taurus, that is just speaking your truth. All right, let's throw uh, what other energies uh, may be surfacing around Taurus next week. Messages for Taurus. I hope you'll stay for the whole video. I will throw uh, oracles um, in just a moment. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Take care of yourself. 
Wow, yikes. Okay, so Taurus, if you have somebody in your life that is an air sign, uh, and they're having some health issues, um, or they need you to be there for them, it, uh, you will. Um, otherwise, I, this energy could be with anyone. This energy is the card that's on the bottom of the Everyday Witch Tarot, and it's showing up right in the middle of the beginning of your week. So this could be people who are going to be arguing with you, words, and there are no winners here. Uh, so somebody may want to win the argument, but really nobody's going to. Somebody may want to have the last word, let them. Uh, that's not going to change the path or the energy of the outcome. So this card is uh, definitely some tension. It can be related to an air sign. It doesn't have to be. We have lots of other signs here. We have fire. We already talked about some tension and baggage around fire signs. Uh, we also have water here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, another earth sign. And someone here may be, you know, trying to figure out something around their health. Otherwise, you could just be starting the week, uh, Taurus, and you're exhausted already. Uh, a lot to do next week around work. Um, so here's another one, Five of Wands. So this is telling me that... <laughs> Not only um, are you going to maybe be dealing with some tension around your job, um, there's just a, a bunch of low vibration energy that may be trying to connect with you. Just, just don't let it happen. You know, just go around it. Smile and wave. The people, you know, are wanting to get the last word in, or people feel like they're competing with you, or people are just making trouble for the sake of making trouble. Just try to go around that energy to the best of your ability. People see that you know what you're doing professionally, and even if they're not telling you, Taurus, you you have people that say, hey, you know, this, this person really knows what they're doing, and that is all you need to know. Uh, the energy of an offer, uh, the energy of faded relationships, Taurus, and the energy of reciprocal love. So you end the week all up in love, Taurus. All up in the love stuff. Um, it looks like a hectic week around tension and people going back and forth, whether it's personal or professional. But guess what? By the end of next week, things are going to be caked by the ocean. It looks much better around love, at least. If you're dealing with a lot at work and it doesn't seem to ever end, uh, just show up and cash your check and deal with it. You can take it. Um, if it, you know, if you have back and forth energy around uh, relationships, uh, the message is certainly that you will uh, have things improving by the end of the week. So I have to tell you, if it's crazy, just deal with it. You'll be fine. It's time to play by the end of the week, yes. And then don't give up on love. A relationship you cherish can be healed. And that could be some of this back and forth energy. Allow me to clear the way for forgiveness so love can thrive. So there's deep love around you. And that's absolutely proven with your last tarot card, which is the energy of the Seven Rivers uh, Reciprocal Love love flowing back and forth and by the end of the week you're you're working too hard and worrying about everything seek out joyous experiences to bring balance into your life beautiful all right taurus thanks for stopping at blue hill tarot i hope you'll support my channel by subscribing liking and commenting take care